Welcome to Hypercar Global, the channel where we take a look at electric vehicles, Tesla and of course Elon Musk. Today we take a look at the new charging stations in the UK along with the new Gigapress working in action, shown in Texas. Check out the new membership section I have added with awesome benefits, click the join button next to subscribe to find out more. Without any hesitation let's get into the video. Pivot Power brings Tesla and Fasten together to build Superhub in UK Tesla and Fasten are building another large charging station together. Pivot Power is a startup created to develop and operate grid-scale batteries and provide power infrastructure required for EV fast charging throughout the UK. It is like a private network operator, and it builds this infrastructure concentrated in hubs. Pivot Power has over 40 sites in the planning process in the UK. At all of these sites, Pivot Power would like to have a superfast charging point operator, CPO, a slower AC CPO, and also provide renewable energy to large charging stations of fleet operators or on the private parking lots of large companies. This first superhubus in Oxford and is part of a larger project that is looking at different ways to transform the city of Oxford to CO2 neutrality by 2040. Other parts of the project are about installing heat pumps for houses and electrifying the taxi fleet in Oxford. At the Oxford hub, they have a high-capacity 33 kV connection to the national grid, the UK's electricity transportation network. At the hub, they install a 48 MW-50 MWh lithium-ion battery and a 2 MW-5 MWh vanadium flow battery. There will be three CPOs present, Fastend, Tesla, and Wenia. The hub also has a large park and ride area with a bus stop. Fastu will provide 14 ultra-fast chargers, up to 300 kW for all EV drivers. Tesla will add 12 superchargers for Tesla drivers. Wenia completes the Superhube with 16 7 to 22 kW chargers for drivers who park for a few hours and would like to top up their batteries. This type of company, focused on providing the infrastructure for large charging stations, acting as a middleman between the electric utility, the grid operator, and the charging network operators, can play an important role. It calls itself capacity provider, and by doing just that, it takes away the often long time frame between finding a site and getting a grid connection for a CPO. It is great if Pivot Power's specialization in this aspect of building the new infrastructure helps speed up the transition to fully electric driving. Tesla's giant casting machine in Giga Texas comes alive amid trial runs. It won't be an exaggeration to state that a good part of Tesla's future is poised to be built on the back of the Gigapress, a house-sized machine that is capable of producing single-piece casts for the company's vehicles. With the Gigapress, Tesla could effectively reach mainstream status in the automotive industry using a concept that it developed in-house. Despite Gigafactory Texas still being in construction, Tesla has already completed the installation of the site's first Gigapresses. And over the past weeks, Images of the first front underbody megacast for the made in Texas Model Y have started emerging online. Recent flyovers of the site have even shown hundreds of the massive casted parts being gathered around the facility, suggesting that Tesla is already calibrating its Model E Giga presses for their upcoming operations. It is then quite remarkable and satisfying to see the company's Texas based Giga presses in action as they produce the Model Y single piece casts. The video of the machines was captured by Jeff Roberts a Tesla and EV advocate who has been following the progress of the Gigafactory Texas site since the project's early days. The clip of the machines was brief, but it does hint that Tesla is wasting no time in ensuring that its casting machines are ready to hit the ground running. Gigafactory Texas was announced and promoted by Elon Musk as Tesla's Cybertruck factory, but the EV maker would be starting its operations with the production of the Model Y crossover instead. This should help Tesla start Giga Texas with a vehicle that it is already familiar with, though Elon Musk has confirmed a huge update for the Model Y that would be made in Texas. According to the CEO, Giga Texas Model Ys will launch with the company's custom 4,680 cells, the same batteries that are expected to be used for the Cybertruck. Tesla has been incredibly conservative surrounding the updates on its 4,680 cell production. In the first quarter earnings call alone, Elon Musk estimated that Tesla was still about 12 to 18 months away from meaningful 4,680 volume production. 
this seems a bit strange as the Model Y is a high volume vehicle and thus would require a lot of batteries. If Tesla intends on starting Model Y production in Giga Texas later this year with plans for a full ramp in 2022, then the company may be understating its capabilities to mass produce its 4,680 cells. For now, however, Gigafactory Texas continues to grow and develop at an astounding rate. Check out a recent flyover of the Giga Texas complex in the video below. Tesla updates website to reflect pure vision, no radar autopilot and FSD approach. Tesla seems to be laying the preparations for its transition to a vision-only autopilot and full self-driving approach. The shift was hinted at in the company's official US website for the Model 3 and Model Y, both of which have now been updated to remove references to radar. Previous iterations of the autopilot section of Tesla's web pages for its vehicles indicate that the driver assist system features 360 degrees of visibility, 160 meters of forward protection, radar, and 12 ultrasonic sensors. With the update, Tesla's autopilot section on its website now lists 360 degrees of visibility, 250 meters of powerful visual processing, and 12 ultrasonic sensors. Elon Musk announced the removal of radar from Tesla's sensor suite earlier this year. In March, Musk explained that autopilot's shift to a pure vision approach was the way to real-world AI. He also noted that Tesla's vision-only system would be deployed on the FSD Beta V9.0 update, which should present a notable improvement over the system's current performance. When asked about the rationale behind Tesla's removal of radar, Musk explained that vision simply has much more precision. He also stated that sensors are bitstream and cameras have several orders of magnitude more bits per second than radar. With these in mind, vision is on track to leave radar far behind as it gets progressively better. Interestingly, Elon Musk did provide some new details on the upcoming FSD Beta V9.0 update earlier this month, noting that the difference between the driver assist suites V8 and V9 would be gigantic. He also stated that issues such as phantom braking would likely be solved by shifting to a vision-only approach. It remains to be seen if Elon Musk's vision-only approach is wise, though his points about the advantages of cameras are notable. However, radar has long been a useful part of Tesla's sensor suite, and it has played a part in keeping vehicles safe on the road, especially when visibility is low. At this point, it appears that the Tesla community could only see and test for themselves if Elon Musk's idea of a vision-only driver assist system is really feasible. Do you think Teslas will be able to produce the Cybertruck by the end of the year? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you are new to the channel why not subscribe? Turning on bell notifications will alert you when I upload so you'll never miss any more Tesla news.